Hi, my name is Maribel Brenes, and we are going to study places around town. We're here in Punta Arenas, Costa Rica. Are you interested? Great, follow me. Let's go. at the Punta Arenas City Council. Would you like to know more about it? Let's go. The municipality of Punta Arenas began its work from the moment of the declaration of Cantonato in 1848, 10 years before of the official declaration of the city. The first town corporation were faced with a big problem, the lack of study of its population in order to serve in position of responsibility. The citizens had only basic knowledge. Because of that, it was not strange the presence of foreign municipal employees. It's the case of General Cañas, from El Salvador, who served as governor of the region. Punta Arenas Cantón is the first in the province of Punta Arenas and has an area of 1,842 square kilometers and a population of 125,059 people, according to Instituto Nacional de Estadísticas y Censos in 2008. Now we are at Costa Rican Bank or Banco de Costa Rica. With 136 years of foundation, this bank is considered a national heritage. Follow me. It was founded on April 20, 1877 under Banco de la Unión, named until 1890 when it changed to Banco de Costa Rica. It was created to become the new banking alternative among those existing ones and whose first task were to offer loans keep checking account, deposit, and perform collections, among others. After seven years, as of its foundation, Banco de Costa Rica became the only one money issued and first manager of public income through a contract with what's called Soto Ortuño contract, effected up to 1896. Other economic action took place along the year up to 1928 when it decentralized its services creating new branches in Limón and Punta Arenas Port. It counts with 1,005 collaborators and almost 81,000 million colones of social capital and almost 1 million of clients. Now is the turn of the fire station. Here we are in Punta Arenas. Let me tell you that the first fire in Punta Arenas started in a bakery of Mr. Juan Rafael Wong. Let's Let's know more about it. Friday from Holy Week of 1932. A huge fire destroyed half block of structure, houses and store. The fire started in the bakery of Mr. Juan Rafael Wong. Worry about that, some citizens and merchandiser formed the first committee who created the Volunteer Fire Department of Punta Arenas. The first donation was from Punta Arenas Chinese Colony, who gave one fire pump clothes and a collection of pythons to fight fire. According to some residents, Punta Arenas firemen were the first on creating and maintain a fire extinguishing equipment. We are in the first public institution for secondary education here in Punta Arenas. This is my high school. Let's go and know more about it. In 1941, a group of six people created an association called Centro Educativo Científico. Its purpose was to establish and maintain a secondary school that allows Punta Arenas teenagers to complete their studies and increase their cultural formation. On September 26, 1941, this association decided to establish Jose Martí High School. Its name was suggested by Professor Emiliano Odio Madrigal. On Monday, March 23, 1942, was beginning the first class at the first high school of Punta Arena City. Classes used to be from 6.15 of the afternoon and 9.35 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. The initial registration was 44 students, 22 boys and 22 girls. Nowadays, this educational institution is formed 
by 700 students approximately. We are in the most special place of this city, Punta Arenas Cathedral. This beautiful place is considered one of the most beautiful church in the country. Would you like to know more about it? Come with me. In 1845, it decreased the construction of the new Punta Arenas Church that will be dedicated to San Antonio de Padua. It is until 1850 when the construction was concluded that it was established as a parish church being separated from Esparza. It was Punta Arenas population the one who asked for a change of the patron saint, so canonically named Sagrado Corazón de Jesús. This is the only church in the country that doesn't have its main entrance on the west. The first bishop was Hugo Barrantes Ureña and the second is Monseñor Oscar Fernández, who currently holds in this cathedral. <music> This place has 33 years of being a major clinic, San Rafael Medical Clinic. Let's go and know more about this special medical center. It was born on March 14, 1852. Community leaders asked Punta Arenas governor, at that time Jose Maria Cañas, for the permission to start with the construction. It was the president, Juan Rafael Mora Porras, who issued the decree. In 1856, played an important role when he was in charge of attending war injured patients of cholera and yellow fever. The transition from hospital to clinic is given by the creation of the hospital Monsignor Sanabria, a bigger building with more space and more capacity to receive patients and medical equipment. This nursery home provided services as a hospital for 122 years and nowadays it has 33 years of being a major clinic. <music> 